Hello everyone and welcome back to my walkthrough redo of Donkey Kong Country for the SNES. Coral Capers is the first underwater level. Don't bother holding the Y button here and these swimming things. Just press the jump button to swim. There's bite size, just hanging out, having a good time. Just doesn't really aim for you or anything like that. Just they just kind of move in a set pattern, just relaxing with this incredibly soft, delightful music. I just can't help but go slower just to enjoy it. And there's Croctopus having a good time, also circling an area. Here's a secret, but it's not technically a bonus area, so this is optional. That is okay, we're gonna check it out anyway. I'm gonna follow that Croctopus around so I don't get slapped. Croctopus are pretty gentle. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> but really, uh, Croctopus are completely invulnerable to even on guard here. Like, you can use on guard and press the Y button to do that dash attack there, or you can just let him do his dash attack when you get near an enemy in front of you like that. But yeah, Croctopus here doesn't care about your on guard power there. <laughs> oh, poopers, I missed the one up there. That is okay. But yeah, if you go around and follow the Croctopus around the left side there, I, I kind of missed it at the last second there because I, I had to go right immediately. But if you went around this way, the one up will actually despawn and yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to break the barrel. I mean, what if I took a hit? I could have gone back there and because my monkey would automatically be teleported into that barrel just because. <laughs> Uh, there's Chomp- oh, Chomp's Jr. But I took a hit. That's okay, I'll grab my swordfish back. Is there anything around, like, around- I'm just thinking that there's another one of those secret areas. I think it's next to an area where there's no more Chomp Juniors, but I could be wrong about this. This is a double on-guard rampage. <laughs> but you can only have one at a time, though, unfortunately. And you always lose your animal buddies at the end of a level anyway, so alas, alas. Oh, this is it, this is it right here, yep. Oh, I got three espresso tokens! <laughs> get 100 of these for an extra life and you can get as many of these as you can grab within the time limit. It's kind of funny though, when you're getting down to the last couple of seconds, it seems like the timer runs a lot faster. So be sure you get near the left side of this uh, in time, let's just put it that way, because there's a doubler, I guess you could say, um, somewhere very well hidden. And you're gonna see me get that doubler when I collect as many of these tokens as I possibly can in this bonus area. Uh, this is the, yeah, this is the one on the far right. So I'm gonna wait to go up there until I collect more of these things. Uh, actually, I probably should start working to get over there now because it's gonna start counting down quicker. Go, 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 And that doubles my tokens. <laughs> See, look how fast it's counting down though, or at least it feels like it is because it's flashing or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, every 100, 100, I don't know, every 100 that you have there, you get a one up for it. So you can get some uh, pretty good lives stacking up there. Anyway. Uh, uh, I was stuck in the coral. <laughs> that was a weird place for it to spawn me. But okay. Uh, but yeah, oh, I, I, I didn't really show you all that well, did I? I'll just show you here now because I can't keep my unguard anyway. Yep. It does not. Oh, oh well, come back here. Get, get, thank you. <laughs> I was going to say if I lost unguard, it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to keep it anyway. Oh, here's the regular chomps. Bigger, but basically like the junior form. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah uh, so it wasn't by Chomps Jr. I thought that secret area was. That was a different type place. Letter N, hanging out there. By the way, there are no bonus areas in this level, so uh, you can pretty much just skim through everything. You just race through it if you'd like to. Ooh, Clambo there. They have different pearl throwing techniques depending on which one they are. And you won't really know which one they are until you actually see them. So you're going to have to watch carefully before you try and get past them. This Croctopus moves in a figure eight pattern here. So you can just do this all day, having a good time while listening to this incredibly soft, relaxing, Relaxing music, and we're at the exit. <laughs> Woo! Now, Funky's Flight's here. We're not really going to get much use out of, but I'll stop by to show you what the heck this place is. At least we're not going to get much use out of it right now. So, how's it going there? 
my bodacious jumbo barrel can launch you to any point at the island. Most unfortunately, can only send you a place I've already been to. So yeah, that's why I'm probably not going to get much use out of this. Because it's just basically for going back to earlier worlds. And then he just repeats your di his dialogues. <laughs> so if we were to go back in... I mean, if we were to go into the barrel, we could choose a world. In this case, I only have one to choose from. That Donkey Kong icon up from the start there is just basically there to be there as like the starting point. And by the way, you'll notice that the heads are whichever character first completed the stage, like on the stage areas, so yeah. Anyway, next level, Barrel Cannon Canyon, and this is kind of a tricky dicky. <laughs> uh, first I'm gonna show you a little secret. But this skips out on a lot of level, and there's a, there's a couple of these shortcut type places throughout this thing, and uh, uh, oh. Well, <laughs> I thought there was land there. Well, I was going to re-show you the level anyway from the start, so whatever, whatever. I'm just going to grab this K here really quick and then hop down here. See this See this cannon here? If there's no sort of like explosion symbol on it, you just press the, the jump button to pop out of it thusly. And uh, yeah, that's basically how those work. And I do believe there are, these are only like two barrel varieties in this version of Donkey Kong Country. Because, you know, it's just kind of early game, I should say early gen Donkey Kong Country before they got super Donkey Kong Country-ish. <laughs> you know, they got more stuff and stuff. Oh, I, I, did I miss that? Can I go back? Mm, yes, I can. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I go back for what's ever in the ground there? I don't think I can. Ah, poopers. Well, I can always check into that after. <laughs> it's okay. Because it's right near the beginning anyway, so we will be just fine. And I'm just going to kind of hang out around here. Just relaxing. Now, this is... Uh, Kinda is gonna get tricky now. Yeah, see, it's gotta kinda aim for the barrels, otherwise, you know, down is death. Let's just put it that way. And look at that. Triple Rambi token for the bonus area! Woo and the same thing applies looking for, I should say, grabbing the super secret doubler last. To get the doubler, you gotta go all the way along those top ones, like just off the top of the screen. So I'm gonna do like a couple couple of runs down around here just to kind of grab as many as I can before I flutter up the top. Actually, I should probably get over to the left side soon enough because I'm gonna run out of time if I don't get it get to it quick enough. Oh, I think I am gonna run out of time because look how fast the clock is going. But yeah, you gotta go on the igloo and then jump across those uh, floating glaciers off the top of the screen. It's very awkward to do and it's very feel based. Oh, you put me all the way back at the start of the level. Well. I guess that does work in my favor, because I'm able to show... Oh wait, did I... No wait, that wasn't the one that I uh, accidentally didn't get, was it? Was it? Yeah, I guess it was. I guess I did get that. Why did I think I didn't get that one that was in the ground or something like that? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I forgot that they put you all the way back at the start. That's kind of kind of a bummer. <laughs> Oh, and that, I love that glitch when the, both Kongs are not in the barrel, the other one's just floating by slowly. It just looks so awkward. Oh, and uh, yeah, you'll notice that I'm able to roll into stuff by pressing the, the Y button to roll, you know, I'm just mainly holding the Y button to run, but this won't work on every enemy, like say a Claptrap, uh, but we'll get into that when the time comes. And there's also some really obscure secrets in this level as well, like this one right here, prepare yourself. Yep. <laughs> Just, there's just nothing intuitive about that at all. It's so stupid. <laughs> and relax. Just get anything that you can get. There we go. And we're done. Now, remember I was saying before that if you drop down a hole, it'll also end the bonus area. Yep. It isn't a death or anything like that. It's just a different way to end it. And uh, yeah, checkpoint there. But what did we miss over on this side? What did we miss? Uh, I think this was... Yeah, that was down where that bonus area was. We just got pooped out there. Okay, now we're looking for... looking for something... There it is! <laughs> I remember that. Go for the left and right... Oh, I thought go for the left and right ones first, and then the middle one? But I guess it's like... I guess maybe it's more of a pick your poison type of thing. But I could have swore there was... Oops! There is a way to get all of the... The bonuses on that one. Maybe you can like re-enter it. Nah, I didn't think so. But you can re-enter it if you leave the level and come back, of course. But 
Well, it doesn't really matter if I take a hit anyway, because, well, you know, it's kind of a instant death thing anyway, so... <laughs> Like, if you fall down a hole on this level, and that's the main danger of the level. And then, just watch, I'm just gonna end up running my face right into some sort of baddie. Because that's just how things work when I say something's the main danger, and it actually... I mean, something that isn't the main danger, and it turns out to be my main danger. Like, over here, if you hit the zinger, you can potentially get back into the barrel that you... Ooh! Missed out on. Because you'll do, like, a jump in mid-air. But I wouldn't count on it, so just make sure that your shots are right. Oh, I got a little lag there. That could have thrown off my timing very badly. <laughs> that could have ended very badly in general because of that. Any bit of lag in gaming is bad lag. Well, I should say when it comes to uh, unexpected lag. Like if, you're knowing, like if you know the lag is coming like due to a frame rate drop or something like that, and you know where that K was, right, right, right back at the beginning, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there we go, 100% in Barrel Cannon Canyon. And can the save point, this is where you can save your game. Finally, yeah, you have to go through a bunch of levels to finally be able to save your game. And uh, you can do a little trick sort of kind of thingy. I, I can't speak, she's too beautiful. <laughs> It's the thing of, I'm, I'm just kidding around, but um, what, what you can do is you can go into Funky's Flights and then go back to a save point anywhere else, and then save your game and use Funky's Flights to get back where you were. So now that this is opened up, it's a whole lot more easy to get around and save your game without having to go through multiple levels at once. But uh, anyway, let's go back over to Candy Kong here and just take a look at... And... Um, yes. That... Idea. <laughs> okay, I better go. <laughs> Alright, enough joking around. Let's go over to Very Naughty's Lair, the first boss of the game. Sure enough, its name is Very Naughty. Just, yeah, just jump on it. Jump on it. It gets a little faster every time you jump on it. It gets a little more erratic every time you jump on it. Five jumps and you'll win. <laughs> Very easy first boss. There we go. Woohoo! Victory is the donkey! And that world is now 100%ed. Let's head over to Monkey Mines and do Winky's Walkway. Winky is a frog that you can ride on. There's no bonus areas in this one, so it's pretty quick to go through. And so I'm going to be doing this one here. Otherwise, I'd be kind of questioning the part length. Because <laughs> who knows how much I would be messed with, depending on how obscure a bonus area might be. And so yeah, as you can tell with Winky, it's got this really high, long, floaty jump. And that's kind of the power of Winky here. And uh, this is Dumb Drum. Yeah, you can just kind of bounce on it forever if you'd like to. <laughs> and those pop out other enemies. And... Oh wait! This is a bonus area! I forgot this- I forgot about this one. I thought there was no bonus area. Well, maybe I didn't think there was a bonus area because- Oh, I missed a banana bunch! Well, but maybe I thought there wasn't a bonus area because it was so easy to find that I don't even consider it a- Oh! How did I miss that? I don't even consider it a proper secret? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I do know I've got a checkpoint. So I am golden. And let's go back in there just for kicks. I don't have Winky, so I can't get the- yeah, I can't get the banana bunches up at the top, but at least I can kind of re-collect some bananas, I guess. You don't want me to go all the way back to the start for Winky, do you? Do you? No, I didn't think so. And I could also get that if I had Winky with a careful lower kind of jump so I don't accidentally hit the zinger. But yeah. Oh, and these birds are Necky. Yeah, it's another version of Neki, as I was saying, there's multiple kinds. These ones just you jump on, they move in a set flight pattern. And there we go! Now Winky's walkway is done! And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. Now I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I do quite a notorious early game level. This one could cost me a lot of lives. <laughs>